Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock your GPU with MSI Afterburner in 2023. So brand new guide. Uh, it will be very easy. We're not we're not going to touch the core voltage, so it will be safe also. Uh, so let's start the guide. So first of all, go to settings and make sure that you're using a custom uh, fan curve. So you want to enable the user defined software over there. Uh, it's a little bit more aggressive by default and also you can change it by yourself. So what you need to look at is first of all your temperature degrees over there and you have your fan speed. So the goal here is to have better thermals to make sure that you have a, a better OC also. But you don't want too much noise. It really depends on you guys. But normally you don't want to hear your fan spinning at 100% all the time. So adjust a little bit your fan curve uh, to have better thermals. After that... We're going to touch, first of all, the power limit. What I recommend is just put your power limit at maximum. You will see that your temp limit will uh, follow. Don't uh, panic. It's safe. Just go like that. You don't want to limit your GPU because of the power limit. So just go like this. After that, the one that you really want to change, it's your core clock in megahertz and your memory clock. What I normally recommend to the people is start with memory clock. Normally, you can do more over there and you will need to test and test and retest a lot. So for an example, you just put 56 like this, you apply it, and now you want to do a benchmark. So me, I like to use the 3D Mark uh, Speedway benchmark or the Time Spy Extreme, but you can also use free benchmark like the Uni Engine. Make sure that you download the latest version, the Super Potion 2017. So the goal here is to run your benchmark. You want to make sure, first of all, is it stable? So no crash and you don't see any artifact. But also at the end, you need to look at your score. So your score should improve all the time. So what I don't really recommend, just go default without any overclocking. Do your benchmark, take note of the score. And after that, do your overclocking because sometimes you can have like a stable overclocking but your score will be lower so really important you don't want to lose fps when you um when you overclock so super important to do that so for example you did 56 now it's stable now after that i don't know after 30 minutes you, you did a lot of testing normally just go 50 plus 50 plus 50 each time reapply it do some testing and when you know that your memory clock is now stable uh, so for an example you went to 240 or 50 it was crashing but at 201 uh, 210 sorry uh, everything is stable you can start to touch your core clock so now go with your core clock at for an example 41 apply it run a benchmark make sure everything is stable and you have a better result again in your score and do that until you crash and when you crash just go a little bit lower and normally you should be fine